Simon said, and I saw Love, comma, actually. It is directed by Stephen Curtis, and this is a request by a Patreone. If you'd like to request a movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash Presents for $20 a month for one movie review. My previous exposure to this movie? None. No idea what it was. However, I did hear that it was similar to Trick or Treat in how there is a bunch of plots happening all at the same time, so I was very curious as to how this is going to be executed. So if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The movie starts for seeing a Christmas song by Billy Mack, and Billy Mack is changing the lyrics of his hit, uh, most hit song to reflect Christmas, and he's like, I don't like this. We also get to see a guy who's mourning the death, is, uh, death of his wife, and then he's also calling this lady, which is a stark contrast to, like, she's all happy and vibrant, and his environment is very dark and gloomy. And she's like, oh yeah, okay, okay. I don't care about the fact that you're mourning over your wife. I'm going to deal with my children. And the rest of the movie has a lot of connections like this. It bounces from person to person, from to person to person, from like one person to one person. But there's a connection point. Like, for example, there's this connection point of uh, we're ta dealing with being in an office and two chicks are, you know, in an office. One of them is playing the radio. The one that is not playing the radio is like, Hey, lady who's playing the radio, could you turn that radio down? And then, okay, we can turn that radio down. And then, we switch to the radio guy! And it's like, oh my goodness gracious, it's connected like that! Alright, let me tell you about the several different plot lines that happen. So, I like the Prime Minister plotline, especially because it is his first day, this is his first year. And we get to see, like, oh, what life is like as a prime minister, because he's also entering this world to be very fresh and new. And this is a British movie, so there's a lot of Britain things that I don't know about the government. So, you know, I, I was like, wow, this is fun. Look how cool and gold the buildings are inside. So, we see the prime minister talking to this girl named Nicole, and everyone's picking on Nicole, including her family, and there's a whole budding relationship there, and I really like just seeing the way that the relationship kind of opens up and you explore it. And plus, since he's the Prime Minister, he has to hide the relationship from, like, everyone else, and he doesn't want, like, pho photographs. So I like this plotline is happening. I also mentioned the dead wife, the uh, guy is dead and mourning a dead wife. And it's really quite sad because it's like, ah, oh, the man that feels. Also, the single dad and a son, and the son is in love. Well, he's a little sad until the dad is like, hey, what's up? And the son is like, oh, I'm in love. I will never be able to talk to her because she doesn't know who I am. And I'm like, dude, you haven't even approached her. Of course, she doesn't know who you are. Just go approach her and be like, hello, I am, I am child and I have a massive crush on you. Um, companion. <laughs> just call it, just do that. And then she's like, oh my goodness, I'm so psyched. You're so honest. Um, but I'm going to turn you down because I have a boyfriend. And then, you know, that stuff could happen, but it, I, it's a really endearing conclusion when he has to like run all the way through an airport because she's American and she's leaving for the holiday. Like no longer will he, she, he be able to see her, so he has to run through airport, go through airport security without a ticket, being chased, and go down the runway, go into the plane, sneak a kiss. I mean, not even in the plane. She's about to board the plane, and he's like, "I, do you, uh, hi, your name? And she's like, oh, hi, uh, my loving friend-o-pal, 
uh, name of friend o pal and he's like, what? I didn't even know you knew my name! And I'm like, huh. Oh. She was probably just ignoring you, dude. Because that's how you can tell a girl really likes you, is if she's ignoring you. That's facts. I don't know, actually. I'm autistic. It's a different case for me. But enough about that. There's also... Oh no. Looks like someone is sick in bed. It's a little lady. A little lady sick in bed. There's a clingy husband. It's like, I love you, I love you, I love you. She's like, ah, go away, go away, I know. Immediately, I'm thinking, oh, man, you must not like him that much. I mean, I don't believe that you're sick. You don't look very sick. You look like you're eager to get this guy out of your building. But when he comes back to grab something, oh, looks like you're uh, the brother of the boyfriend here sleeping with the girlfriend so there's a whole three-way situation happening and i'm just like dude cheating is not good it's devastating and it cuts away to like a different story right as he, <laughs> you hear the girlfriend in the other room yeah just uh come have sex with me twice before jamie gets home and then it's like oh goodness gracious y'all just got caught Man, what will happen now? There's also a couple other uh, fun storylines, such as, oh, well, there's this boss man. You know what he's boss manning about? The boss man has a wife. She's quite lovely. But there's this woman. Oh, man, she's a temptress. She's like spreading her legs wide open for the boss, and it's like, Ugh! Ugh! Not at work! Ugh! Jeez! Close your legs, lady! I'm trying to make money here! Having sex is losing money, okay? No! Stop! Close your legs, please! Ugh! And so, I'm just glad that she eventually does close her legs. And then takes her clothes off! No, she doesn't do that. What she does do, she tries to... Ask the boss man, hey, I want something shiny. And instead of saying try, I should probably say does ask him that because he does buy her a really expensive necklace before the wife sees. And I'm like, oh, dude, this is so shady. This is so risky. This is so, oh my goodness. How could you live with yourself? The fact that you have to deal with, oh, mm. dude, dude. Dude, thank, thank goodness that you have the, the jewelry salesman is just deciding to take forever to wrap your gifts or, or else it's just going to be like, oh, you got away with it and you wouldn't have felt bad. But since your wife saw that you have the jewelry and then you, she never got the jewelry and she's like, oh, you probably gave it to another girl, which you did. She's like, oh, this is a fluke in a relationship. You did bad. And I'm like, yeah, I agree. You shouldn't have done that, boss man. Why did you do that? Why did you have to turn away? You even had like a friendly dance with this employee and a completely inappropriate professional employee relationship, okay? Boss employee relationship, inappropriate. Reported to HR. And I'm glad that the wife is mad and finds out. I'm glad that there's some consequence to his actions. Also, I should mention that there is a really cool plot between two British high schoolers. And I was like, oh, this is hilarious because they look like they're like 23. But they're supposed to be high schoolers. One of them is like, I'm gonna go fly to Wins Win Wisconsin. Milwaukee and my first thought was like wait are there any skinny hot chicks in Wisconsin I thought it was mostly like fat people in the middle of the country but that's an overgeneralization now that I think about it uh, I bet there would be some uh, American chicks interested in a British man and so when he does go over to Wisconsin, he gets four chicks at once! 
dude, he picks up four chicks in a bar and then like has sex with them. And it's epic. Dude, I, when I was like watching him pick up these chicks, I was like thinking to myself, are these chicks gonna like rob him or something? What's gonna happen? But no, he actually does really good. He does not get robbed. Maybe of his virginity, but he does not get robbed at all. And I'm just like, dude, how did you not do that? <sighs> oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe it. Good job, you. All of these stories are all interconnected. I feel like they ref uh, reflect classic, um, common Christmas tropes in Christmas movies. Uh, I recognize a few of them because some of the Christmas movies that I've seen have some of these tropes. And it's, it's fun, honestly. There is more tropes that I, and more people that I haven't really covered. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the ones that were like really big and really stood out in my mind. But I also don't think I'm doing this movie justice. Because I'm kind of talking about each individual timeline out of its timeline order. All of these stories, like, of all 12 people happen, like, across, like, two hours or how- like, maybe around two hours, however long this movie is. And all of these characters are fleshed out. That's the thing. I think this movie does a really good job of, like, exploring romance and love. And personally, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of romance. Just because it can get very sweet, and, uh, what's a sweeter word for sweet? Sickingly sweet. <laughs> That's the best I could really come up with. I think that this movie has a lot of moments where it can switch from one character to the other to break up any sweet moments that last too long. I'm like, okay, great, you guys are looking lovingly into each other's eyes, wow! Ah! Uh, oh, you guys are making out, cool, amazing, I guess. I feel like I just generally dislike romance movies in general. Even before I had sex and after I started having sex did not like romance movies, so it's, that's a personal taste of mine. Again, though, if you like romance movies, if you're like, oh, I have a, I have a big emotional soul for romance, uh, I would watch this movie. It takes place around Christmas. It is a Christmas movie in so much that it sometimes takes place around Christmas, and also the epilogue. Oh man, I forgot to mention Everyone converges at the uh, really cool school concert, and the, the school concert, mind you, is incredibly inaccurate. It looks like a concert, like a, like a TV concert. Mind you, I've been in band from 6th uh, grade to a junior high slash 11th grade, so I know that there is no way in any any school, any properly funded school, that <laughs> the students are going to have like high risers and are going to be able to sit on top of each other and just like stack on top of each other unless there's like bleachers. But this ain't a case of bleachers. These are like straight up platforms. No, <laughs> doesn't exist. Also. Too good to be high school, uh, high school players. <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't even call them players. So many high school instrumentalists that I've played with are so bad. Just don't care, so bad, they're only there because of the credit. This jazz band looks to be like professional. And they're like all grooving out, I'm like, yo! I'd love to be part of that jazz band. They're all grooving out, they're having a grand old time. <sighs> Just sucks that no jazz band that I've ever been part of have been like grooving out. They're all like, ah, 
I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna obligate, I'm, 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 it's an obligation to play the trumpet. I'm gonna play the trumpet all the way at the floor so no one can hear me. Man, I feel like I could do an entire video on things that have enraged me during my time in band, but that's a different video. I did like the performance of the jazz band at the concert, and there's also a fun little epilogue where everyone also converges. There's also a wedding that happens at the beginning of the movie. And as I say this, I just remembered of another character plot point. It's the, uh, it's two people, it's a husband and a groom, and then there's also a third person, a videographer. Uh, Juliet is the bride, and the videographer is the groom's best friend. The videographer is the thought to not like Juliet, but he's actually in love with her. And while he's, like, filming the video for the wedding, he's just filming on his face, and I find this to be hilarious. The character development was great, awesome, splendid, amazing. I do not go into enough depth on this movie, I just think you have to watch this yourself, it is a pretty good romance movie. Uh, I would rate this movie a solid 8.3 out of 10. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer, so if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even uh, seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that. Or if you'd like to fast track a movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASPresents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month. Or how to draw Pokemon. Draw the Pokedex challenge. Uh, they'll be posted early on patreon.com slash ASPresents. And if you like to help support the daily grind in this of these movie reviews, you can go to this link tree. It really helps the daily grind of these movie reviews. So go here. And until next time, I'm Min Sal. See you later, my Sal Cruz on to make it bits.